Hello everyone, Sam here from Super Nerd UK, your source for all things pop culture. And I am back with another Super Nerd Toy Box episode. And we've got a bumper episode this week. And for once, it's not got Ghostbusters or aliens in. Or maybe one Ghostbuster. But anyway guys, without further ado, let's jump into the Toy Box. So first up guys we've got some WWF figures. Now I didn't know many of these as a kid, but I have got Superfly Jimmy Snooker or Snooker. I don't know how to say his name properly. Um he's not looking too bad, I mean he's looking a bit worse there. He's lost some of the paint there. He's got some pen on his hand for some strange reason. But he would have went on top of the ring and you press him down and he would have jumped. Now the spring isn't actually that good now. You know, he is quite old, but yeah, he isn't that good. But I still think he's in pretty good condition. He had a bit more pen on him, and I've managed to clean him up when I got him out. Uh, next one is Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Uh, I'm pretty sure he come with a bit of a uh, 2x4 wood, and you can use it to batter the other wrestlers with. Now, these are Hasbro figures, these. And you know what? He's in looking in pretty good condition himself, apart from his eyes looking a bit woo. But yeah, he's looking in pretty good condition. I like him. Yeah. So we'll move on again, guys. And we've got something completely different. We've got Beetlejuice. Now, Beetlejuice was a big thing when I was a kid. The movie was amazing. I loved it. And they brought out a range of figures for children. And we also had the Beetlejuice cartoon, but I think these are more for the movie because this is a bit from the movie when he's got like the merry-go-round hat, which you can see the little monsters on it. And if you pop his head off, it's Beetlejuice from the end of the movie where he gets his head shrunk for being cheeky. Let me pop it back on. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Bit of weird here where the paint's gone and that, but still, it looks pretty cool. Now... For all you turtle fans out there we've got rock steady and there's a little foot soldier badge there now this is rock steady before the mutation but you notice it's got some fingers here and that is because he does actually it can do it like in quick time <laughs> mutate into rock steady now he's a bit broken because his from chest section does come off quite easily so Get that together, push him back, and there we go. We've got Rocksteady. He actually has a tail as well. You can flip round like that. There's his tail. So that's pretty cool. You could get some of them. I do have a Donatello one, but he's quite cool. Pretty meaty as well. And uh, next we've got up is a weird one, but some of you guys will probably remember this is a Tommy robot, and you know you need to put a battery in. And he'd roam round the floor, hit something, back off, and then go the other way. And I'm pretty sure, you might want to correct me, he did contain blueprints in his head. I've opened it up and it's empty. Um, he's a bit discoloured, but yeah. When I actually picked him up the other day, he was covered in felt tips, so God knows what happened with him. But he's cleaned up nicely, and he's still quite cool. So he, He's like proper retro robot looking at him, but yeah, he's pretty cool. Right, I've got some other new stuff, some uh, Batman figures, so Batman the Animated Series was so big in the 90s, it did have all the toys to it, I mean it, the toys were marketed so well, and you've got like this scooper one, and he actually does have, oh no, I don't think they fire, do they? Oh, yeah, very poorly, they do have little bat discs that he could fire from there. And randomly, he's got two in there, and I didn't think they'd be in there. Now you can see his paint has come a lot of wear on it, but he's still looking pretty cool. We have got another Batman figure here as well, and he's just in a cape, but it's no other ca ordinary cape, it's like an armour. But it's a glider as well, which is cool. Now I don't think this is the Batman that belongs to it, I may be wrong, I'm pretty sure. I had a Batman that belonged to it, and I threw him out my bedroom window and he broke. Because <laughs> I thought he could fly, and he couldn't. 
so yeah now guys we've got a massive big toy here and it is the bat jet or the super nerd ben calls it the duster yeah take this open you got the cockpit now this is from the batman 1980 movie um i don't think it's the exact same thing the wings extend out there i don't think it's the exact same thing but that is what it's uh what it was you know on the box pushed as but it's a pretty cool item i do like it and it has been played with a lot as you can tell with the screen and the wings don't fold out as they should do but the missile on the tip still fires so there we go <laughs> the missile's fired but yeah it's pretty good and that's what we have this week thank you guys for watching super nerds toy box this week uh we had a mixture of everything i'm gonna try be a bit more bolder with the toy box and have a lot more different stuff in all this stuff was from my personal collection when i was a kid so yeah it was really nice to try to share it with you anyway guys if you like the video give us a thumbs up and if you like what you see give us a sub and always guys i'll catch you later